What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the official Android 4.3 on your Galaxy S4 i9 500. So this is the i9 500 variant and as you can see I'm running the Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. So this is the final version of the Android 4.3 and is totally safe to install no matter where you live. So uh, if you don't have this update, that means the update is not available in your region, but you can install this manually. So you will not be losing any of your apps or data and even your warranty will not be void. So this is totally safe. So let's go ahead and install it. So the first thing you need to do is uh, hit link one from the description and download the Android 4.3 firmware zip file from there. And once you have downloaded it, hit link two and three from the description. Download and install Samsung Keys and PC Odin on your PC. Now on your PC, once you have this file downloaded, extract it. Once done, you'll have this .dar.md5 file. Now on your phone, hold the down volume, power and the home button at the same time so that you can get into the recovery mode, uh, sorry, the download mode. Keep holding it till you get into the download mode. You can let go the keys once you see this, okay? So once you see this, connect your phone to your PC via the USB cable and hit the volume up to continue and leave your phone as it is. So now you have connected your phone, go ahead and open PC Odin. And uh, here you must see this IDCOM tab turn into blue. If you don't have this blue, that means you have not installed the Samsung keys properly. Try reinstalling it, that will fix this issue. So once you have this blue, go to PDA and navigate to wherever you have extracted the zip file of the Android 4.3 and hit open. Once done, leave the rest of the settings as it is and hit start. And wait for the installation to complete. So guys, once it says pass, you can unplug your phone from your PC. So guys, in case if you get boot loop here, what you can do is go into the recovery mode by pressing the up volume, power and the home button. Do a wipe data factory reset and reboot the device and you will not face any of the boot loops. So let me just quickly skip the basic settings. So we have successfully installed the Android 4.3 on the Galaxy S4 i9 500. So let me just quickly show it to you. So there you see this is the i9 500 and this is the Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. So we do have a lot of improvements. I will be doing a review on this firmware very soon. Stay subscribed. Till then you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.